<laughs> oh, poor guy. <laughs> Dr. Freeman, Barney said you were on the way. We got split up by snipers, and he's pinned down in a warehouse up ahead. Go ahead. He's relying on you. Okay. Okay. Whoa! That's much better. That's what I like to see. Over here. Gordon, I can't move. These snipers got me pinned down. Gordon, lob a couple grenades. That'll clear them out. Ah! All right, thanks, Gordon. What happened? What happened to your line? <laughs> did you hear a cat just now? I did. Damn thing haunts me. <laughs> it's right there. That flash, though. Well, I'm out of explosives. You got. Oh my god, what is going on with Lala? Oh, oh what was that? We have to get to the horse. For the resistance. Nice. 
Hi. <laughs> I don't know who did that, but... Are you fucking kidding me? Brother? You know, I wouldn't be getting through this if the Strider wasn't attacking, I'm just saying. just ran through fire, I'm sorry. back time. It's a full-on war zone now. Get down. 
You get down, asshole! Are you forgetting that I'm Gordon Freeman? Yeah, yeah, where, where, where? Yeah, sacrifice. Fuck it. Because you are just being in my way. Right, the ammo crate is up top. Fucking hell. Wait for me, Dr. Freeman. I'll come with you. That's one. Call me a donkey, Gordon Ramsey. I almost called him Freeman. <laughs> okay, let's stock up on health. Kill the stragglers. And we'll finally be done with this chapter. Oh my god. The final hard chapter, I would say. Infinite rockets. Hey, for the horse. Hey, everybody, follow Freeman. There's that horse. Let's go. How are you still alive? That's the real question. Jesus! Gordon! Hey, help me out here! Dog came crashing through the plaza, knocking over walls, and I think he's looking for Alex. He seems to have it set in his head that she's in the Citadel. I figured Alex wouldn't want him getting any deeper in trouble, but hell, you try stopping him. you to go through Gordon you better hurry let's go count on it crystal meth about the blue gun the cat no don't hurt the cat now! Watch your message from 
I wasn't thinking of doing the Fortnite dance. So, this is Dr. Freeman. At last. I wish I could say this was a pleasant surprise, but it's neither a surprise nor, as you will surely agree, very pleasant. Well, I am nothing if not pragmatic. Okay. Well, Dr. Freeman, under other circumstances, I like to think we might have been able to work together in an atmosphere of mutual trust and respect. Certainly, judging from your brief tenure at Black Mesa while I was its administrator, you showed every promise of becoming a valuable and productive contributor to the scientific process. And yet, I'm not sure what spurred you to it, but there is really no place in this enterprise for a rogue physicist. You don't know that. Your mentors are partly to blame, of course, my disappointment in Eli Vance and Isaac Kleiner is far greater than my sorrow over your unfortunate choice of career path. In a way, I suppose you could not have done otherwise. Who knows what seeds of iconoclasm they planted when you were young and gullible, but while they certainly share a great part of the responsibility for the recent troubles, it is you alone who have chosen to act with such willful disregard for humanity's future. Uh-huh. so much what is it exactly that you have created can you name even one thing I thought not I have laid the foundation for humanity's survival and not as we have narrowly defined ourselves but as something greater than we could ever imagine something we can now only begin to glimpse shut up Shut up. Ah, I'm at a part that I hate. Ah, oh, first try. <sighs> Normally I die here a lot. But thankfully I did not. Look, Gordon. Look at what you are throwing away. Is it worth it? Discord ruined that screen for me. I'm sorry. <laughs> Taking in one last glimpse of the city before it gets nuked in like, I don't know, five hours. <laughs> yeah. My cool gun. You. I'll take him from here. Don't struggle, it's no use. Until you're where he wants you, there's nothing you can do. I'm sorry, Gordon. Never trust a Fortnite furry. Gas giants inhabited by vast meteorological intelligences. Worlds stretched thin across the membranes where the dimensions intersect. intersect. <laughs> Impossible to describe Coach. with our limited vocabulary. What I've seen is also beyond words, Breen. Genocide. Indescribable evil. Good God. 
Well, if it isn't Gordon Freeman at last. What's this? I'll put it over there. You have my gratitude, Doctor. First you lead me straight to the doorstep of my oldest friend, and then you deliver yourself. If I'd known you were going to come straight up to my office, I wouldn't have bothered hunting you in the first place. Having both of you in my keeping ensures I can dictate the terms of any bargain I care to make with a combine. <laughs> Dr. Breen. Huh. Wallace. Yes, Judith, what is it? The bargain we should be making is for Eli's life so he can continue his research. Thanks to you, we have everything we need in that regard. You're more than qualified to finish his research yourself. What neither you nor I can do is convince that rabble in the streets to give up their senseless struggle. Yet Eli refuses to speak the words that would save them all. Save them? For what? Eli, if you won't do the right thing for the good of all people, maybe you'll do it for one of them. Wife! Alex, I need... Dad. Gordon? No. God damn you, Breen, you let her go. That's all up to you, my old friend. Will you let your stubborn short-sightedness doom the entire species, or will you give your child the chance her mother never had? <laughs> How dare you even mention her? Alex, my dear, you have your mother's eyes, but your father's stubborn nature. You haven't seen a bit of it yet. Gordon would never make any kind of deal with you. I understand if you don't wish to discuss this in front of your friends. I'll send them on their way, and then we can talk openly. <sighs> don't struggle, honey. Dad, I'm so sorry. Alex, sweetheart. Judith, what do you think you're doing? We're doing what I could never do alone. We're stopping you. Yes. Guards, get in here. They know you betrayed them. They'll turn on you. Judith, Dr. Mossman, please. I'm sorry, Wallace. You're all out of time. Don't... Hurry! Dad, hang on! You fool! Watch out, he's gonna- No! Ah. Damn it! Dad. Oh, no, no, no. Don't worry about me, honey. There's no time, Alex. He's on his way to the portal. You'll need this. Dr. Mossman, Judith, look after my father. Don't you worry. Dad, I'm not saying goodbye. Never. Come on, Gordon. Let's go. Girl. This is canon. Lore accurate. Gordon, we haven't known each other very long, but I know you didn't have to do this. I had to rescue my father, but you... Well... Thanks for coming after me. Hey, listen! That's him! There he is! entanglement device we'll never have a chance like this again we've got to stop dr. Breen I can't shut it down looks like he's turned over control to the other side you'll have to go into the core and do what you can 
Get in the elevator and I'll let you in. Don't forget to charge up your suit. I'm good. Do your worst, Gordon. But be careful. Always. Dr. Freeman, you really shouldn't be out there. At the moment of synapse, as I teleport, this chamber will be bathed in deadly particles that have yet to be named by human science. Perhaps when I have the leisure to do the work myself, I'll name one of them after you. That way you won't be completely forgotten. When the singularity collapses, I will be far away from here, in another universe as a matter of fact. You, on the other hand, will be destroyed in every way it is possible to be destroyed. And even in some which are essentially impossible. I don't know what you can possibly hope to achieve apart from your own annihilation. Don't listen to him, I warn you this was futile. I don't even know what the hell he's talking about. You don't know how much longer I'm going to be here. Yeah, we'll be fine. Obama. You've done a great deal in a small time span. You've done so well, in fact, that I've received some interesting offers for your services. Ordinarily, I wouldn't contemplate them, but these are extraordinary times. <laughs> Rather than offer you the illusion of free choice, I will take the liberty of choosing for you if and when your time comes round again okay i do apologize for what must seem to you an arbitrary imposition dr freeman i trust it will all make sense to you in the course of well i'm really not at liberty to say that's literally this entire in mod pack in time this is where I get off. Obama really summed up this entire experience. It's not going to make any sense anytime soon. Goodbye, Obama.